welcome to my kitchen and a new episode of Prepper's Pantry, What's for Dinner, whatever you want to call it. Tonight we're going to use some of my home canned chicken soup and we're going to make a cream ch cream of chicken and mushroom soup with rice. Cream of chicken and mushroom soup with rice. Yeah, that's it. Okay, this is what we're going to do. I went ahead and I have <clears throat> hydrated partially. I just put these in there about 10 minutes ago. Uh, a half a cup of my dehydrated mushrooms with one cup of hot water that I boiled. <clears throat> and then we're going to use, I have um, half a stick of butter in the pot and it's melting. And we're going to make a roux with some flour. And we're going to use a can of evaporated milk because everybody should have this in their food storage. And we're going to use a jar of my chicken soup. We're going to use a cup of par-cooked brown rice. I like to keep the par-cooked rice on hand. And this is, um, there's a nasty looking kernel. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, par-cooked brown rice, so it's gonna cook a little bit quicker. I'm gonna put a spoonful of mushroom powder in there. We're gonna use some salt and pepper, some poultry seasoning, and some onion powder. And then we're gonna call it dinner. I'm gonna go grab my flour and I'm gonna be right back. Alrighty. All right, let's see here. We got rid of those sad old whisks. I got me a good one. I've had that for whisk. quite a while. I just haven't used it. You can find Is some that really, your huh? Is that your command performance? This? No, the command performance one is in the dishwasher. Hmm. This one is actually one I got at um, Sam's Club. You can find some really great kitchen tools at Sam's Club, um, and they're restaurant quality. This came in a set with another whisk that's much larger, and I don't like the way it feels in my hand. This one is almost too big for my hand. I don't like it that much, but I'll use it. The one that I really like is the dishwasher. Yeah, it could be used as a weapon. You could seriously hurt somebody with that. The tines on that are really, really thick. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to make a little bit of a roux here, and then I'm going to open up my can of milk. Evaporated milk is something I think a lot of people overlook. Um, I think everybody should have it. I mean, I have cases of this stuff in my food storage, and uh, I think some people may be put off by its color. Remember, it is evaporated. It's you're supposed to add water to it if you want to drink it like milk. It's essentially cooked. It's, it has been cooked. It's had the water evaporated out of it before it's canned. But this is going to ensure that we have a nice creamy soup. And um, it's going to make a good flavor. And it's going to be wonderful. When I was a kid, I used to hate evaporated milk. And I still don't care for the taste of it by itself. Mm -hmm. My mother used to put on an oatmeal and used to make me gag. Aren't you glad I shared that with mm. you? We'll open up can our jar of chicken soup here. We just want to make sure that we cook that flour and that roux into that. Really, what you've made is a bechamel, which is flour, butter, and milk or cream. Um, so we're going to make a thickened white sauce, but then we're going to pour our chicken soup in there, and then I may add a bit more water because we're going to be putting some rice in here. You can see how it's getting thick because you can see that it's starting to, um, you see the bottom of the pan as I'm whisking. Yep. You're going to know that your cream sauce is ready when you can do that. You see how it's thickened up nicely. This is going to be the base for our cream soup. We're going to go ahead and pour our canned chicken soup, our home canned chicken soup in there. Give this a whisk. That smells good already. Yes, it does. I'm going to get me some water. First, I'm going to add these mushrooms and their liquor that they've been rehydrating in because that's just going to add to the flavor. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, I wish you could smell it. Mm -hmm. It <laughs> smells fabulous. And I'm going to add a half of a jar of water filtered water and that is going to equal about two cups. So 
So if you're keeping track, we've got a quart of soup, a can of condensed milk. You dropped something already. A cup <laughs> of hot water that we rehydrated the mushrooms in, and two cups of plain water. Let's get our seasonings over here. I'm going to add a teaspoon of everything. This is the poultry seasoning. Onion powder. Mushroom powder. black pepper which is butcher's cut. I'm just put that in there because it is easy. You can go ahead and do your own if you like. rice in here. I don't know if I'm going to add all of it. I have a cup of rice. What the hell? Why not? Hmm? Why not? It'll be fine. All right, now we're going to simmer this for 15 minutes while that rice cooks. And when we come back, we will serve you up a bowl of cream of chicken and mushroom soup with rice. All from your food storage. We'll be back. Right, we're ready. This has simmered for about 20 minutes and now we're ready to serve it up. Now, this smells fantastic and it looks great and I'm sure that it tastes wonderful. And it all came from food storage. If you can your own butter, the butter comes from the food storage too. So there's not one thing that went into this pot that doesn't come out of my food storage. Butter, flour, evaporated milk, home canned chicken soup, some dehydrated mushrooms, and of course water. So, you know, you can't go wrong. Get you a spoon. You cook up some biscuits or some cornbread or anything to go on the side like that. You even have crackers if you like. It doesn't matter. You don't have to have anything on the side. This is hearty enough on its own. These we have biscuits. <laughs> so there you have it. Mm. Hmm? Huh? We made croissants because I had them in the refrigerator. There they are. Oh, two of them baked together. They couldn't be separated. I oh, know. Okay. Well, anyway, that is how I make cream of chicken soup with mushrooms and rice, cream of chicken mushroom soup with rice, I'll get it right one of these days, from my food storage. I hope this helps you to want to try to make something like this on your own from your food storage. I'm trying to show you different things you can do with that chicken soup that we canned, instead of just opening up a jar of chicken soup, which is perfectly acceptable, but we can do a lot with that. We made tortilla soup from it a couple weeks back. Tonight we're making cream of chicken soup with mushrooms and rice and it's all good. So I hope you try it, I hope you love it, and until next time, I'll see you.